Shalom Aleichem, wonderful souls of the world. Every person in his life can see many things that uh, needs to be corrected, that he can improve, that he can fix, that he should elevate. And that is our mission, to try to do the best that we can in every moment of our lives. The main thing to remember is that you're not alone in that mission. That the Creator sent you down to earth, even if this place is dark and lonely for you, dangerous and scary, there is a hand that is hidden. It might be that it's sometimes very, very um, even doubtable that like you cannot be even sure that it's there from the fact that Hashem is really hiding His godliness from us. But there is that hand that is supervising and synchronizing every detail in our lives to complete and to be perfect with our life mission. A person should have a lot of faith for that. And yesterday I read about faith in one of the books of Rab Nachman of Breslev, that he said that faith is to work on faith. Like really to have faith is not something that is so simple. Okay, I'm a believer. A believer is a person that in every life situation, he tries to find faith. He tries to recognize Hashem's supervision. He works on that muscle that is called faith. He's training himself to be a believer. King David gave us a wonderful advice about that, and he said, As much as I'm going to talk with him, I'm going to remember him more. So for your faith in Hashem, for your clear memory that there is a Creator, that there is a hand that is supervising and taking care of things, that brings things to their purpose, to their completion, to their correction. For that you need to talk with Hashem. And the way to talk with Hashem is in the most simple way. It's called Hit Bodedut, individual conversation with our Creator. To talk to the Creator like we talk to our best friend. And just to do it with your own mouth, to share the thoughts and your feelings and your needs in your own language. Just to say simple things like, please Hashem, give me the money to pay my rent this month. Please Hashem, give me the energy and the power to go out of my house and to complete the shoppings that we need before Shabbat. Please Hashem, protect us from all the enemies. Save our lives. Make sure that we will not get sick. Simple requests, when they are being pronounced in words, when you make them sound with your vessels, with your tools of speech. By that you elevate all the worlds that depends on you. Now, who are you that worlds will be depends on you? You are a godly soul. You're a very highly creation. You are the crown of creation. By that fact that the Creator chose you, to show His face to you, to reveal His supervision to you, for you to be able to recognize Him and to see and to believe in Him and to understand that the Torah is Torah of truth, to understand that the people of Israel are holding something special within them, that the land of Israel is a holy promised land. When you have those realizations in your mind, it means that someone allowed you to have that access to that ancient knowledge. It's not that you're such a genius that you got it. There are people that are way wiser than you, that they don't understand anything about this lifetime. And they are intelligent and their power of memory is amazing and on and on and on. But in reality, the real truth is that the only reason why you can see Hashem is because Hashem chose to reveal His life to you, to reveal His present existence with you, 
to share the time and the place with you. This is an illumination of his face and you are a chosen, hand-picked figure, person, to be part of Hashem's plan. And He chose you for that purpose. And He reveals His face and His wisdom to you. In your life aspects, to your tools, to your vessels, to your ability. And He's shining that light upon you because He cares for you, because He appreciates you, because He loves you, because He wants you to succeed, and because He feels close to you. There are things between you and the Creator of the universe that making Him want to speak with you, to shine the light to you, to reveal His thoughts to you, to open His heart to you. All the constrictions, all the challenges, all the difficulties that we're going through in our lifetimes are clear messages from Hashem, from the Maker of the universe to us showing us exactly what the Creator wants us to see. So He's communicating with us. So isn't it obvious and basic that we should do the same with Him, to communicate with Him as well? The covenant that Hashem set with the people of Israel is called Berit Hamila. It's a covenant that refers to circumcising our um, baby boys in the eighth day for their birth, but it's called Berit HaMila. Berit HaMila is the covenant of the word. There is a covenant, an agreement that depends in words, in the power of speech. And this is why the covenant is also called Ot Brit, the sign of a covenant. And the word Ot, that is a sign, is also a letter. So letters and words are the signs and the agreement between HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Creator, to His children. And therefore we need to speak with Him. And by that to keep the covenant, to keep the agreement, to keep our connection with Him, to put letters into words and to speak our hearts out and to talk to Him is to do it in the most simple and innocent way of them all. Just as you were doing when you were a child and you were walking on that fresh grass and you were talking to him, looking at the sky, looking at the clouds, counting flowers, looking at butterflies and speaking, to do the same thing today, to speak with your Father of mercy in the way that you would speak with someone you can count on, someone you want to believe in him, someone you want that will show you His wonders. And even if it's hard, you can talk about that. Hashem, it's hard for me to speak with you. Hashem, I cannot find words. Please, Hashem, allow me to find things to pray for. Please, Hashem, give me words, give me ideas. I don't know what to talk about. Every topic, every subject is a perfect subject to do Hit Bodadut on, to speak with Hashem about. So you just need to open your heart and to talk the truth and Hashem will answer a prayer that will come out from the heart, like that it's written, Karov Hashem lechol korav, lechol Hashem is close to everyone, to everyone who will call Him with truth. And from four wings of the universe, He will gather all the lost and forgotten ones, bring us all back to the Holy Land of Israel, to the promised land that was promised to our ancestors, the holy, holy, holy role models and pillars of truth and stability to the world to see the light of Hashem. May the blessing and the promise and oath that Hashem made to our ancestors take place in our days with joy and happiness and a lot of fun. Amen.